It is one of a kind. It's jaw dropping and you can only see it in Las Vegas. The sphere is making headlines around the world. Las Vegas insiders and host of the Vegas Revealed podcast. Dana Roselli and Sean McAllister are joining us live from Vegas. It's always so good to speak with you guys. This has been so amazing to look at even on the screen, but you guys have seen it up close and we want to hear more about it. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Good to see you, Sheba. Good so listen, this thing lit up for the first time on the 4th of July. It's already an instant tourist attraction. If people are going a few blocks east of the Las Vegas Strip to get that perfect picture. It's causing Ooh. traffic issues. But the monorail that you see right there is our tip on the best way to see it. It drives mm. right by the sphere. You can see it up close. And even as you're just a few feet away from it, it is crystal clear. You see how it was lit up as a basketball yeah. there for NBA Summer League. And so what you're looking at is the exosphere. There's a whole nother sphere inside that is the arena itself, which doesn't open up until fall. Right. That opens September 29th, kicks off with U2. They've sold out a bunch of performances already and have limited tickets left. They're doing 25 shows, so that'll be inside. But for now, everyone is just in awe about the outside. You can see all the different things that it can do. It's absolutely beautiful and incredible. They also have Postcard from Earth that will be an inside attraction, and that will kick off on October 6th, and you can buy tickets for that as well. Oh my goodness. Is the arrangement inside any different? So we I haven't been inside yet. So we've only seen this outside display so far, which I mean, is the largest LED screen on planet Earth. Yeah. And wow. it is super high resolution. So the images that they put up there are crystal clear. You really do need to make a point to see it in person because your jaw will drop. Yeah, it yeah. looks amazing, guys. All right, that's hard to top, but tell us what else is happening in Las Vegas. <laughs> Well, we had an opening of another new restaurant. We've always got restaurants opening here, of course. And it was Guy Fieri. Guy Fieri, everyone knows, such a character. He had a big, huge grand opening for his new restaurant over at the Horseshoe Las Vegas. That's the former Bally's. It's called Guy Fieri's Flavor Town Sports Kitchen. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, also on your next visit, you may want to check out the Atomic Museum with Oppenheimer hitting movie theaters uh, this coming week. Uh, this is a great tie-in. This tells the history of that first uh, atomic weapon that was created and also Southern Nevada and Las Vegas's part in uh, that atomic era. Yeah, it's really cool. It's just to the east of the Strip, so not far at all. Also, we went to RuPaul's Drag Race Live over at the Flamingo. This show is packing them in nightly, and it's a huge hit. RuPaul came for the 500th show. You can see him on stage there. He was showing us how to do the fake slap. <laughs> <laughs> so we sashayed this way and watched the show. Um, it was sold out. The crowd was great. The queens were wonderful. It's a fabulous show, and it's a 9.30 show over at the Flamingo. Mingo, so that makes it really fun, kind of a late night thing. Nice. You guys always have such great stuff. I keep saying y'all are going to make me plan a trip to Vegas to hang out with you guys <laughs> soon. Sean and Dana, thank you so much for joining us. Nice to see you. Good to see you. All right, guys. And you can hear more from them each week on Vegas Revealed. It's available wherever you listen to your podcasts.